an African American from the inner city, planting a church in the inner city of Camden, New Jersey. So often people on the block, people in my hood feel like the church doesn't care about the current racial tension and climate that is lighting up the internet. All the, the shootings, the fighting, the election, and the racial tension that's happening in America. So often they think that the church is apathetic to matters of race. But we must engage it because the gospel calls us to and gives us a clear lane to comprehensively deal with it through the power of the gospel. We must find ways to open up a dialogue to engage matters of race in this country. And also we must, in that moving from being apathetic to race, not just the, the black guy, me, should be angry about um, racial things and slurs said to me, but it should be my white brothers who should step up and they use their platform to shut down insensitive, evil talk against their brothers, their African-American brothers and sisters in Christ. Check out this next clip by Dr. Eric Mason. He challenges us to this reality. Being black in America and, and then becoming a believer and being educated as a main, at a mainline evangelical institution. And one guy asked in the class, and I'll never forget this, he asked in the class, he says, um, what have blacks contributed to, his, to historical theology? And he said, y'all can really sing. And <laughs> all was, of y'all? Yeah, I was like, not all, all of us, sing. but you know, I um, <laughs> almost vomited. Um, and so there's, in the world, we expect this disposition. We understand that there's a system. There's a message. The challenge of being a black man in America is what you get in Christianity. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and so I think that, you know, that disposition of just dismissing of history, dismissing of different aspects of, um, you know, what we need to be engaged in and understanding one another is a bit of a challenge at times. So that's sort of my conglomerate of what it's been like for me. When you have a Midwestern or mountain white man who communicates that relationships between blacks and whites were at their greatest during Jim Crow and slavery and nobody in evangelicalism rises up, yeah. then to, 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 to communicate that the historicity of well-known historians, the etymology, the ontological development of history is off and to begin to say, nah, slavery wasn't bad as Negroes make it to be. Yeah. Like that's correct, like that's correct, that's, I mean, that's, why, I mean, I mean, that is, that, I mean, that is, I mean, I don't even know where to put it, you know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? And then when you call yourself a confederate, but then you see their proclamation document that fundamentally yeah. and doctrinally, when you call yourself a confederate, you're basically fundamentally saying you want subjugation. And so nobody publicly in Christianity, except for Tabidi, um, which it came from him, but it should have come from the other side. Like there needs to be, like we used to say in the 80s, bum rush. Yeah. Yeah. Like that means, Rush to the rush to the forefront. Like we need whites who get it to like say, like you you gotta like because for me I'm battling apologetics in my neighborhood because they view Christianity as apathetic towards race. That's it. And so when you're when 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 we still put on our textbooks white church fathers who were African, when we when, when we hear foolishness online, you need to dig into the feed and yakawism. You understand what I'm saying? You got to get up in there and begin to say, yo, man, let's, let's begin to talk about this. Let's dive. If it, I'm not talking about a troller. We're not talking about like some wandering troll, like when you're on Periscope and somebody's putting obscenities on it. We're talking about notable characters in the Christian faith that need checking by our white brothers and sisters. Because we're always, no matter what we say, to be honest, we always going to look like the angry dudes. Yep. You understand know what I'm saying? Say, we always want to look like we got a chip on our shoulder. So when it comes from you guys, men and women, not just men, 
but men and women, utilizing your platforms, utilizing your blogs, and beginning to push out proper history, information, and relationships, and even empathy, I think it just transforms sort of the culture of letting someone get away with saying that writing a black and tan is just crazy to me.